Hi everyone, thank you for joining Parkinson Voice Project for today's online Speak Out Home practice session. My name is Samantha Allendary. I'm a speech language pathologist and the founder of Parkinson Voice Project. I'm here to help you establish and maintain a consistent Speak Out Home practice routine. We're going to go through the six Speak Out exercises. Today's topic board games. Everybody say board games with intent. Ready? Board games. Say it again. Use more intent. Board games. Okay, so what is your favorite board game? Or, or do you have one that you play now or one that you played growing up? I have to tell you that my... Go ahead and take your sip of water. My family will not play Monopoly anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and this is from probably, I don't know, 25 years ago where I got a little bit too excited that I was winning and now nobody will play Monopoly with me. So ever since that time. Do you have a favorite board game? Let me show you this picture too. Go ahead and get your water. I think that's a cute image. If you have never chatted on our website, please try it. You'll see the box that says type in your nickname. You do not need to create a username, password, login, or any of that. Just put your name and where you're from. And it's really neat to see where everybody is from. I noticed yesterday more people had done that, and, and I love that. And even if you're not going to chat throughout the session, the images we put up will really motivate you and make you smile. All right, let's start with the first speak out exercise, the warm up. Lift your voice and project it forward. Ready? May, me, my, mo, moo. Get your voice in front of you. Speak out. May, me, my, mo. Again, may me my mo This time, let's really stretch out the vowels. We'll use more intent. May me control of our voices, not Parkinson's. Let's do it one more time. May me my mo moo. Okay, let's take a sip of water. We're done with the warm-up. One board game that I really like to play, and my family will play it with me, probably because I don't win, is Risk. I really like that game. What kind of board games, what board games are your favorite? What were your favorite growing up? We're moving on to speak out exercise number two, the Oz. Deliberately open your mouth wide and project your awe forward. Ready? Ah, uh, good. Let's do it again. sounds scratchy you need to project out a little bit more if it's scratchy and it doesn't hurt most of the time with Parkinson's the voice doesn't hurt there shouldn't be any pain but if it sounds raspy or so project out a little bit more ready uh... Let's do it again. Uh, when 
I say project out more, I don't mean yell. We're not yelling. We're projecting our voices forward. Let's do one more. Uh... Good. We're done with the ahs. Let's take a sip of water with intent. All right, next exercise, the glides. Really important. This exercise is important for your swallowing. It's also important for the color of your voice. You don't want to end up with a monotone voice. And as you go up and down the scale, your vocal folds are stretching in different ways. And so that's, that's how you change your pitch. The vocal folds stretch in a certain way, but if they become stiff, you know, like other parts of the body with Parkinson's can become stiff. If the vocal folds are stiff, you will end up with a monotone voice. <laughs> so here we go. Project out a steady eye and glide up. Uh, stop. Uh, let's do it again. Uh, into falsetto. We don't need to go that high. I'm also not going down as low as I can. That puts too much tension on the vocal track. Think about how you vary your pitch in conversation. I don't suddenly go up there and I don't talk way down there. So the range doesn't need to be that wide, but we do need to be able to change our pitch, okay? But it doesn't have to be the extreme. All right, let's do it again. Uh, uh, good. If it's raspy, project out a little bit more. Let's do it again. Uh, One more. Ready? Uh, stop. Close your mouth. And. Uh, good. We've done the warm-ups, the ahs, the glides. Let's take a sip of water and we'll move on to the counting. Hopefully you are all working with a speak out provider one on one. I cannot stress enough these exercises that we're doing here are not therapy. These are for home practice. So in order to maintain speech and swallowing in Parkinson's, you need to be working one on one with a speak out provider. You should also be participating in some time, type of weekly group and then doing your exercises every day. And that's where I'm here to help you to stay consistent with that. We're moving on to the counting. We're going to count to 16. We will stop every four numbers. We're lifting our voice and projecting it forward. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Good. Use intent. 
Let's go backward. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Now we're going to go down. If you're using a cell phone to do these exercises, I strongly encourage you to use a computer or iPad if you can. You want all your focus on speaking out, not struggling to see the numbers or the reading material. Let's go down. One, five, nine, thirteen. Two, six, ten, fourteen, three, seven, eleven, fifteen, four, eight, twelve, sixteen. I just realized that I also forgot um, to, to ask you to smile for a second or two. If you're new to these sessions, because we record the sessions, Sandy and Elizabeth always need to get a photo of me because I'm always moving my hands or talking. So we started to ask everybody to smile with intent. We need to practice that anyway. So let's all smile with intent for a second or two. Ready? Here we go. Okay, take a sip of water. We'll move on to the reading exercise. Isn't it great that we're able to post the recordings? This is especially helpful for people who live in other countries where it's the middle of the night right now. The topic is board games. Thank you to Lisa who prepared this for us. We're going to read each sentence twice. The first time, you're getting used to the words. You're trying to speak with intent. But the second time, we use more intent. Here we go. There are many benefits to playing board games. Now, lots of intent. There are many benefits to playing board games. And you hear how I have more expression the second time? It's because my vocal folds are stretching more. Let's read this one. Board games can be played anywhere. With more intent. Board games can be played anywhere. And you can even put your hand by your mouth like I am the second time. Ready? Players must be patient and strategize. More intent. Players must be patient and strategize. Next. Board games can also help you laugh. More intent. Board games can also help you laugh. All right. Now, I want you to name different types of of board games and as you say each one lift your voice and speak out okay lifting your voice is not just for when you do your exercises that's how you want to talk all the time so name some board games and speak out name this board game with intent Now make up a sentence with the word chess. Make up a full sentence and say every word with intent. Do we have any chess champions practicing with us today? Let us know in the chat. Here are a few board games. Let's read them with intent. Life, checkers, Monopoly, and Monopoly where I have been banned from my family. All right, next, objects used in board games. When you play board games, what, what kind of objects are you using? Go ahead, say each one with intent.
Did you use your best voice? Make sure you're using your best voice. Ah, which which game is this from? Go ahead and describe Monopoly. What do you know about Monopoly? Go ahead and say every single word with intent. Is that hard? Is it hard to speak out with every word? Then you need to practice, 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 practice. Take a sip of water with intent. You need to practice using intent more often. For example, when you're going through your mail, you can go through it. Bill, recycle, recycle, <laughs> junk, um, you know, whatever it is, and just name it with intent or as you're putting the groceries away. Tomatoes, turkey, just practice speaking with intent. I know it's silly. I know it feels silly, but do it anyway, all right? Dr. Boone's words, say each one twice. Gula, ga, ga, ga. Again. Gula, ga, ga, ga. The next one. Ku, ka, man, gu, ka. Again. Ku, ka, man, gu, ka. Ready? Gangla, gangla, and the next one. Kukla, kukla. Very nice. We're going to move on to the bonus reading. Here's the bell. We're going to read a passage about chess. The bonus reading is all about building strength and endurance. It doesn't matter what you read when you do, when you're trying to build strength and endurance, but the key is not to be reading something that you're too enthralled with, okay? So you want your mind, you want to be focused on speaking with intent, and you don't want to read something where you're tripping over the words a lot, okay? So don't pick up a medical journal, okay? We don't want to read that. We want to read something simple where we can focus on speaking out. We'll read this passage two times. Here we go. Chess is a two-player abstract strategy board game. Ooh, let's read that again. More intent. Ready? Chess is a two-player abstract strategy board game. Each player controls 16 pieces of six types on a chess board. Each type of piece moves in a distinct way. The object of the game is to checkmate the opponent's king. Checkmate occurs when a king is threatened with capture and has no escape. So we're building strength and endurance. We're working on the coordination of our breathing, which is the main speech problem in Parkinson's. It's how it's the coordination of the breathing, breathing, the motor movements. Let's pretend we're on top of a mountain and we're going to read this like we're making a really big announcement. Everybody? Chess is a two-player abstract strategy board game. Each player controls 16 pieces of six types on a chess board. Each type of piece moves in a distinct way. The object of the game is to checkmate the opponent's king. Come on, more intent. Checkmate occurs when a king is threatened with capture and has no escape. You can download today's reading material, take what you learned and practice, 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 and then practice some more. Thank you for joining me today. I will be back tomorrow.